Aha. Uh -huh. Another gravity well, and that's new. What is it? A symbol of authority? A key? It's easy to speculate with Remnant, but we need more facts. I'll see what I can find on this beauty. Maybe over this way. Whatever has this place on lockdown is that way. I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll investigate the relic, and together we'll figure this place out. You don't watch many horror vids, do you? We have no idea what's down there. And we never will, if we miss something because we're huddled in a group. I'll be careful. Just stay on the radio. I'm on frequency 145.8. Stay safe. Ten credits say she ends up in a pit of spikes. This gravity well is sealed off. No way through. Incidentally, a gravity well is the gravitational effect of a large mass in space. This is more accurately a well with variable gravity. Keep a note for our Asari friend for when we try to explain all this. Com check. It's... Well, you know who. We read you, PB. Stay in touch. They dug this place through solid rock. Look up there. Must be how they kept it from collapsing. Whoa. What's that liquid? Unable to classify. The only way through is down towards it. Ah! Watch yourselves, it burns! So whatever that liquid is, they need a whole aqua cleaner. Another aqueduct? How many do they need? Are those roads down there? I can't even see where they end. processor we found before didn't need all these steps. Dad just interfaced with it directly. And it didn't work out so good. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise. Look how high it is. Might be another gravity well. The well's sealed. Damn. Maybe we can use the conduit for emergency power, same as before. Better safe than sorry! Wonder if I 
get anything on the scanner. The conduit splits and goes through each of those devices. Interfacing may complete the circuit and allow the world to open. If it gets us to the system lockdown, let's try. Okay, let's hit both those consoles and complete the circuit. This device appears defensive in nature. Power restored to the gravity well. The conduit leads down. Conduit fluid pressure is variable. There could be activity below. And let's dig deeper. Barely any dust. How old is this place? Unknown. Radiation counts indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Around the time the Scourge appeared? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe the Scourge is why all this tech was abandoned? Crap, the conduit sprang a leak. Careful! No way you can interface with the console like that. And no fluid means no power. Damn it! Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. Dead. Without the conduit, there's not even enough power for the door. Ryder! Up here!
think that's the right way. Clear! Observers coming up at us! a dozen observers flying around a waterfall like a flock of birds. It's amazing. This really is their habitat. We'll be out of their way soon. Uh, not too soon, right? You wouldn't believe the data I'm getting. Hydraulics compensating. Oh! No, I'm okay. We're two gravity wells down already, and this place goes even deeper. What's at the bottom? Let's not find out the hard way. We've got a path to... Jump jets. Nice work, people. Oh, that is cool. Feel that? This whole platform's resonating with something. It must be close. No question. This is the heart of the vault. I've never seen anything like it. All continents converge here, Pathfinder.
Huh. Any thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good to... Should we... Go! <laughs> is attempting surface reconnection. Vault restart is now complete. That was... Talk about a rush! What was that? Field. Might have been sweeping the vault. Or chasing us. An immune response? Maybe one last scrub for startup? This place is full of surprises. Nothing like outrunning death. Or reactivating a huge mysterious vault. Nice going. Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Whoa. Did restarting the system do that? If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults on other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? This tech can create observers from nowhere or ravage a whole planet. And that's just what we've seen. The bots, those plants back there, the atmosphere processors. Back home, some corporation hit a desert world with an ice comet. They changed the atmosphere to bring rain. To help it support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. 
Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've gotta go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. EOS could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still. Wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. Well, this will be interesting. Now for our new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen. So, Cora, Asari Commandos, I hear a lot of things. You hear, or you watch low-budget action vids. Either way, Huntresses hunt. They sabotage. All officially sanctioned. And that was all fine with you? Yeah. Hunt down anti-Citadel fanatics, or let Crisis Response mop up the blood later. That's not a choice. Ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that... Drac?
<laughs> that fight was fun. You're telling me. You could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. So, the clouds parted. These cat look pretty keeled over. Maybe us humans can pull our weight after all. Well, you can, clearly. But there's a lot to do before I'd be that smug about it. You know what? I'm gonna ignore my gut and join up. This fight was good, and we can do it again. And before you go saying you don't need a Krogan, believe me, you do. That's what I said. The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fair winds back. This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? Pathfinder's call. But research is no good if we're dead. Military. It's got to be science. Our colonists need to understand their home. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. A military outpost. We defend our own against the cat, or anyone else. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. I feel like I should toss you the keys. Be nice. It's been through a lot. Understood. Brodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's defensible. Arguing that choice will come later. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. The reality, Ryder? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on... something else? The nav point. From the vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed. But after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware. That's all. We didn't come to a new galaxy to argue about who's right. It got us this far. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Thank <laughs> you. 
Life support at 100%. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? You're professionals. I'm not going to babysit bunk assignments. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots. Just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical? Good meeting, everyone. Ryder, when you've got a minute, stop by the medbay. Stuff here. And your repair kit, spare part. 
I carry that emergency kit you put together all the time. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years in the Hyperion looking after your brother. Happy to have you, Dr. DePero. I'll do my best. Now, hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, a, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you? I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. I had no idea. I'd love to hear more. Over dinner, maybe? Oh. Um... Thing is, Ryder, you're not my type. What's your type? Not a patient. I need to be able to look at you clinically, without distractions. Am I distracting? Not nearly as much as you think you are. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan... Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats her vegetables. We haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. I'm picking up something. Ah. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey it all. Anomaly on sensors. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne... Certainly. The Initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. With more military personnel out of stasis, those Ket won't get near your vault. Or our people. We've taken some hard knocks. But this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder.
Construction and repairs continue on various parts of the Nexus. Authorities have no word on completion and remind visitors to avoid affected areas. This is HNS. Hello, Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. I guess this is one bet that paid off. Point taken. Always revel in your victories. That's why I'm standing here. Oh, I never doubted you. It was the others. They don't share our vision, Ryder. Of a prosperous future in Andromeda. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming, it's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. I plan on doing a lot more than that. That's the confidence we need. Take charge and ignore your critics. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder's support. Though I worry about your decision on Eos, Ryder. A military outpost won't help feed the Nexus, not the way scientists might have. But it will protect us from a growing list of threats. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. Right. 